Transportation is a major focus for Austin City Council members, but critics question if an item on today's agenda will help. City Council will decide if it should enter a $2.5 million partnership with the University of Texas Center for Transportation Research. KXAN's Sophia Bosile is live from City Hall tonight. Sophia? A good evening, Shannon. So today, City Council started a little later because of an Austin Energy Committee meeting, which took up most of the morning. So council members still have a lot of items to go through before they get to this proposal. But if council members do vote yes, the University of Texas Center for Research would provide research and analysis for the Austin Transportation Department. That means if the department is working on a project like how to ease congestion or increasing mobility or other goals, the department could go to the university as a source. So the University of Texas Center for Research Research is made up of students and researchers and they work together on these studies. The deal would cost $2.5 million over five years. That's $500,000. Council member Don Zimmerman says he doesn't believe will help and has made up his mind that he's voting against this proposal. My concern, we've been not building freeways and not building roads for 30 years. And if we spend another $2.5 million for somebody to tell us how great bike trails and urban trails are and how sidewalks are and how railroads are good, we're going to be right back in the problem we got now. We asked for a comment from city member, uh, council member uh, Ann Kitchen. She's the chair for the mobility committee. She says she won't comment yet, neither will the transportation department or the University of Texas because they want to wait until council actually votes. We don't know what time that vote will come down, but as soon as we get a decision, we will let you know. As always, go to KXAN.com for the latest. Reporting live from City Hall, Sophia Beausoleil, KXAN News. Well, several environmental activists are suing transportation agencies in an effort to stop the Mopac South and SH-45 projects. The list of plaintiffs includes Save Barton Creek Association, Friends of the Wildflower Center, and Save Our Springs Alliance. This is along with 100-year-old activist Shudi Fath, former Austin mayor and Texas Comptroller Carol Keaton, and musician Jerry Jeff Walker. They claim TxDOT and the CTRMA have not adequately looked at the cumulative environmental consequences of the infrastructure needed to join South Mopac with the not yet built SH-45. We are digging into the nuances of this lawsuit and we'll have a more detailed report for you tonight on KXAN News at 10 o'clock.